This video has been brought to you by the Landscape Certified Contractors Association. Due to the membership support, we're able to bring content to each and every one of you. If you have a topic or a product you'd like us to review, or if you want to become a member, visit www.irrigatortech.com and hope to hear from you soon. Enjoy the video. Hello, this is Brandon Burgess with the Irrigator Technical Training School, and today we're going to go over Reduce Pressure Principle Troubleshooting. So our next scenario for RP troubleshooting is going to be when we go up to the assembly and it's a continuous discharge. Although we cannot certify the backflow and repairs need to be made, it's a good idea to hook our gauge up and let's see what's wrong with it. It's either going to be the number one check valve, the relief valve, and it could possibly be the second check valve with back pressure issues. So let's go ahead and simulate when we have a continuous discharge and we'll go from there. So I come up to the unit and I'm getting a continuous discharge from my release valve. Let's just go ahead and go as business as usual. Take my red high side hose. And the number two test pack. My green hose and my low side hose to my low side of the gauge, followed by installing it on the third test truck. I'm going to go ahead and open test cock three, open bleed. Slowly open number two, test cock. Test cock two, open and bleed. So while they're both running, I'm going to go ahead and shut down my second shutoff valve. Close my high. And close my low. So I need to have a differential pressure of a minimum of five psi. So as you can see, I'm down below two. My relief valve is completely discharging. So this is going to be an issue with the first check valve not holding back 5 psi. 